Hello, my name is Daniel and I am recording this video on behalf of Web Oracle. Alright, so in this video, I will be showing you how the admin dashboard and the user dashboard of this investment script, I will be showing you how it works in this video. Yeah, so before we proceed, in case you need this script or you want a complete tutorial on how to install this script to make it work like this, Alright, you can already shout to the number on the screen or anywhere around this video. Thank you. So let's get started. So here you need to move on to application settings, then global settings. Once you are on the admin dashboard, just go to global settings and then you have it here. You can see just some simple, simple settings, the language settings option, language switcher. Here you can change the language of your website in the user dashboard. Alright, so you can enable it. There's also an area for registration in case you want to allow registration or not. All right, so then we can go to manage currency. That is where you manage the currency you want to accept on your website. The default currency is US dollars. And then we have other currencies there. You can just tick any one you would love to have on your website. You know, it makes it so beautiful actually. But the default one is UXD and then from here, you can see the exchange rates you can set that automatically or manually then let's proceed to the rewards program and that is where you can decide to allow your website run a referral and also you know sign up bonuses yes so you need to turn on sign up bonuses from here and then your website will start so you can also see referral settings that is where you really activate your referral options so you enable that then you can also set prices you know amount you want them to receive on each commission signed up user signed up and all of that is so easy no just need to turn it on allow successful deposit when somebody deposit you want to add a mob you want to add bonuses it's also there then we can also proceed to you know we have several payment options so you can go to payment method that is how your users pay you when they come into the website when they want to invest so we have paper we have crypto we have bank transfer so let me just you know run the settings for crypto so for crypto you just have to scroll down select the coin you want to accept from the options there you want to accept bitcoin you want to accept ethereum and then you are just going to input your wallet address here so each time your users wants to invest you want to make deposit any wallet address you paste here they have to select from the options and then they make payments just enable the method down here and then you click on update and that is all so just let me just input a real wallet address and you know, just make it long so that when we are trying out the user dashboard we'll be able to see everything there yeah so guys hope you are enjoying this update it yeah so that's that that's fixed already yeah so let's also look at the withdrawal method so in case your users has invested and then it has gotten the, the necessary ROI, they can withdraw into their crypto wallet or bank transfer in case you want them to be able to withdraw. So tapping on crypto wallet, you just change this to crypto. So they can know that that is the crypto option. Then you, you enable a currency, you know, then you enable method and then you hold it. You can see how easy that is. You can see how beautiful it is. All right, so let's still proceed. All right, so from here, you can edit the information of your website, site information, user dashboard. We will still get back to that, but let's proceed. So now let's look at how to set up investment plans. So just go to invested plans, then manage schemes. So from here, you can decide how you want your, your users to invest probably um, $100 to $200 for a plan and then the profit they will receive. So we have a lot of them already enabled. So you just have to edit it to your taste and also turn off the ones you don't need. If you want to turn it off, tap on the three dots and then you click on Mac inactive and then you also confirm. You can see that's actually easy. Yeah, it is. So you can do that for other ones. Tap on the three dots, Mac inactive and then you confirm also, then it is inactive. So let's try and edit this. Just tap on the three dots and then you click on update scheme and not Mac inactive. So yeah, you can just change the name of the plan, investment amount, that is the minimum amount. Then the other one is the maximum. So if you want to just to, you know, have a minimum and maximum, then from there, you can input the percentage of the profit you want. And then the interest period, you want it daily, you want it monthly or yearly. 
you know so just to make it easier for them to understand then the time duration how long you want the investment to run for this particular plan you also set it up from here so you can see that so easy so number of days for the time if it is weeks if it is year all right so here you can also return their capital at the end of the month so after their plan has completed you can return their capital or not so you make sure you save the scheme and then you save the changes so you can still do the same settings to all that plans change the name of the plans the roi the interest and then it goes on like that you can have you can have as many as possible plans so let's proceed yeah so let's proceed to our users just scroll down the manage users then all users so from here we'll be able to see all the users on our website but meanwhile we have none presently and from the admin backend you can add a user from here you just tap on add user and then you start adding your user their name email phone number nickname and that is all all right so that is how to add the user and also if you want to see your users you just tap on that same all users then all your users will display here by itself all right so let's proceed again also here we have a deposit feature so just click on deposit in case somebody deposits into your wallet a user deposit this is where you are going to see all the uh you know deposit sleep payment options i mean payments that was made to your wallet address so and also for withdrawal this is where you will also see the total numbers of people that have placed withdrawal on your website and then you can decide to pay them out or not that's dependent on you then let's see application settings global settings and let's see if we are not mixing anything all right so let's just scroll and see all right so we have brands and teaming that is where you change the logo of your website your brand website probably you decide to change the logo on your website from here you can just you know change the logo by yourself so it has different formats so you just need to click on browse and then you upload it from your laptop and then you click on upload just to ensure that you have it at that particular measurement 180 by 40 pixels so let's visit the home page of the website now and let's see what we have so normally this is the home page of this website and clicking on get started is going to take us to the registration page where we need to register as a user all right so let's just register as a user and then we see how the website works from the user end so i'm just going to put an email and also a password of my choice all right so let's see that let me just input something then i'm going to agree to the terms and condition and then i'm going to click register so i'm going to be sent an email so i'm just going to verify that from my smartphone all right for security reasons i won't be sharing my smartphone screen so please let me just approve it from my smartphone and then we proceed all right i have approved it just now so let me just proceed to login again so i'm just going to click on return to login so i will be inputting the details i used to create the account earlier then my password then i'm going to click on login and then it will take me to a page to complete my registration so i'm just going to decide to change my username you know just a username actually then a nickname then phone number you can decide to input my date of birth and country but let me just click go to dashboard and let's see what we have as our user dashboard so this is our user dashboard and then from here you can see how beautiful this dashboard is you can deposit from here you can withdraw you know even the logo that was changed in the admin dashboard would appear here automatically we can deposit you can see the deposit you can see where we have balance our investment this is where you know once you click on investment here we are going to see the investment we are currently running on so i'm going to see it here but let me just go back and tap on the in our plans here just tap on our plans here and then i'll be able to see the various plans that we have available from the admin area so you know the ones we set up the other time the mercury standard plan premium plans. And professional that i'm going to click on first that was now from the Then I will select the amount I want to, you know, invest. So let me just input that, then continue to deposit, and automatically it's going to bring up a wallet. It's going to bring up my wallet address, the one we fixed in the admin dashboard the other time. Okay, so you can see that 
confirm your deposit of one BTC and all of that. So depending on how much the client wants to deposit, your wallet address which you inputted the other time would be what it's going to display for them to pay into. Yeah. So I'm just going to click confirm and pay. When I click confirm and pay, it is just going to bring the account to pay into. So let's visit our admin dashboard now. So from the admin dashboard here, you are going to see a notification of deposit that somebody deposited into the account. Yes, it's so beautiful for you to notice that somebody has deposited into, into your account the amount and then automatically the user, you just need to approve the payment here. And once you approve the payment, the user would be notified through your mail that they are transaction has been successful and then their plan starts reading. So if you set it up for one month, the account would run for a month and then they will receive their profits and capital if you want it to be like that. All right. So that's the video. This is a video on how the admin and user dashboard works. So in case you need the script, please ensure to reach out on the number on the screen or somewhere or just locate a number around this video. Yeah. So we are glad you got value from watching this video. Thank you. <laughs>